Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into 800 Seward number two. This is a very nice one or two bedroom apartment. It's really like a two bedroom apartment. And as we walk through the front door, we see a nice big entryway. The door right in front of us with the mirror is actually the bathroom. As we swing towards to our left, towards the uh, living room, that door goes to the bedroom. The apartment has hardwood floors, and the first thing we notice is that it's occupied, but this is a nice big living room. It has to be at least 13 feet or more long, and about, uh, oh, probably nine and a half or 10 feet uh, wide. Very full, and I don't want to disrupt the way the current tenant has it, but we have a lot of windows, north to the left, east and front, and south to the right. So you could get as much natural light in here as you wanted. I don't want to spend a lot of time showing you what this person has. Just basically the size of the apartment. Behind the uh, chairs, I guess it's twin chairs, is a decorative fireplace and you can see shelves on either side. Uh, actually, it's in very good shape. The paint is all very good. Um, I'm going to go into the dining area and kitchen before I go into the bedrooms. So, we came in through the front door, went into the living room, came towards the bath, and took a right into the dining room and kitchen area. Again, it's a very well-occupied apartment, so I'm just going to squeeze over here and show you the size of the dining room, which is really a big room. Probably a little less than 12 feet long and a little, maybe 10 full feet, 10 and a half feet across. The windows are facing east, big radiator in the corner. We will, of course, go back to see the bathroom. But before we do that, we'll take our first look at a very big kitchen much bigger than average kitchen. Back door goes down to storage and laundry. And if we swing all the way around, we see the fridge. We have ceramic tiles and just a, a lots and lots of cabinet space and countertop space. Now I have a limited time to do this, so I'm going to go kind of quickly. This is the freezer and the fridge. The, uh, the fridge part of the fridge with a crisper drawer at the bottom and shelves on the right. We have a drawer and cabinet here and really what we're going to see is that all the cabinets are pretty much similar. So the top cabinets are going to be two feet with three shelves that are about 10 inches deep. We do have some smaller ones that are about 12 or 14 inches. Um, the lower cabinets, which I will show you in just a sec, are usually a little bit deeper. There we have three drawers, and those are a little deeper. And then we have the standard cabinets on top. This is a little bit wider, but the same height and depth. These are a little bit more narrow, but are doubled up. And I apologize for being quick, going through this quickly but I do have somebody waiting for me. So the current tenants are here. It's a laminated countertop. It looks like rock, but it's a laminate. And the cabinets underneath are deeper. So they're much better for pots and pans, which is really good. And you've got so many, I can't imagine running out of storage. More drawer space here. A little more cabinets, a uh, little more counter space over here, twin stainless steel sink, full-size stove, a nice stove hood with a uh, fan, light, and, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Well, it'll come to me. Uh, let's start with the dishwasher. It's a little bit smaller, but it is stainless steel, which means it's got better insulation and will be quiet so you can have a conversation. The water pressure in this unit is terrific and this whole building is terrific. 
and everything is draining nicely. Underneath is going to stay dry and can be used as storage. More cabinet space like we've seen already. An outlet there right in front of us. I think you can see that. Another outlet there. A third outlet by the light switch. Uh, so really a lot of good outlets. The stove is not brand new, but it's super clean and it's a full size. Inside needs to be cleaned, but we will of course do that if the tenants, if the tenants don't. You have a nice tile backsplash all the way around. Um, and I'm going to step back for a second. The windows would be facing south, so you get as much light as you'd like. And this actually goes out into a little deck area and a back porch area, which is really nice. So I don't want to make it sound like there's a big deck out there, but there is a little place for a chair and a grill, maybe. So one more look at the kitchen, which is really much bigger than an average kitchen. Much easier to use with much more storage. Has a fridge, a stove, and a uh, um, dishwasher. And I forgot to show you the stove hood. And what I was trying to describe, there's the light, and behind it is the filter. So we'll come back through the dining room. And we'll see, oops, there's the little cats. We'll see the second bedroom. Second bedroom's a little smaller, probably about eight and a half feet across, nine and a half feet long. I should have turned on the light in here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now you get a better look at it. This is really the cat's room in this particular, uh, for this particular tenant. That would be a closet, which I'm not going to open. Nice closet, probably about four feet long, about two feet deep. Great. And here you can actually look out. You're facing east here and looking on to uh, um, Sherman, which is the same Sherman that goes through the middle of town. So I apologize for not getting you more details and like opening the closet and everything, but I do want to maintain the integrity of the current tenant's belongings and the way they have the apartment. So we walk past the kitchen, through the dining room, back to about where we came in. There's the front door. And we'll go into the bathroom, which I don't think the cats are allowed in, so I'm going to shut the door behind me. And again, we have a nice big bathroom. You can see they have a little bit of furniture in here, a tank toilet, new tile floors, ceramic tile floors, sink with a little cabinet underneath it. And I'm sorry to do this. And if we go through this door, we come to the bedroom. But what I'm really trying to do is give you a little better look at the bathroom. Nice light fixture over the medicine cabinet. Behind the curtain is the shower and tub, which we will look at. Um, but this is where we came in. So there's some additional space here for um, like furniture shelves and that kind of thing. OK, again, we have good water pressure. I just have the hot water on. Underneath is going to be nice and dry and usable for storage. We have an outlet for hair dryers, your standard medicine cabinet. And you can see everything is draining nicely. I'm going to pull this back. One thing I want to point out is that everything is tiled, including the ceiling. The window is new, so it's much easier to keep this clean so you don't get the mold and mildew on the ceiling when, from the uh, showers. Okay, we've got it all the way to hot. And we pull that up. And you can see we've got really good water pressure. So it's a, a nice tile, which of course they need to be cleaned, but we will do that. Oh, nice water pressure. 
nice clean tub. I didn't show you the tub. I should have. Tub's relatively new, actually. Um, ceramic tile floors. Nice clean sink with a little bit of storage underneath. Tank toilet. One entry from the front door, you know, where everybody can access, and another entry from the bedroom. So now we'll go to the bedroom. Bigger than average bedroom for sure. This, I think, is a uh, queen size bed. They have their own air conditioner, but you can see they have nice big pieces of furniture as well. Hardwood floors. This window is facing south. And again, this window is looking out onto Sherman. And really, you've got pure green around the building, including its own backyard. So they just keep it closed up for reasons of their own, probably to keep the air conditioning built down. Uh, this closet I can show you, so I will. And this would be similar to the other closet, probably about four feet across. You've got a shelf, hanging bar, and then a second hanging bar. So it's really uh, can hold a lot, a lot of stuff. So it's nice. It's really a nice apartment. In fact, it's a, a really good value. So we'll come back out into the, from the bedroom into the living room through that door. Give you one last look at the living room. Back to the fireplace with shelves on either side. Nice big living room. So behind the screen, he has his own workstation. Hardwood floors. Nice kitty cat, and that brings us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.